What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another VGC 2022 Showdown Live video. This may or may not come right after the day that I posted that dual weather team, which if you guys want that dual weather team, of course the paste is in my Discord, which is linked in the description down below. I'm also trying to find some artists who wanna just have their art showcased as the background of my videos. Um, but yeah, uh, anyways, what I'm using today is a core that I call Ray Z, a man who you have never met before. If you get that reference, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, basically, Rayquaza has a lot of holes filled by Zacian uh, in terms of defensive. That sounded wrong. It defensively has a lot of holes filled um, when you put Zacian on the team. And Zacian as well just benefits from Rayquaza turning off weather. Uh, while Zacian could normally be outsped by uh, G-Max Venusaur uh, when the sun is up or you know, just doesn't like tanking hits from Kyogre once the rain is up. Uh, you can just negate that entirely and allow the Rayquaza to go for like max airstream next to the bulkization, which just makes it really easy to pick up some KOs of this guy. Cause if you don't know, Adamantization has really, really high attack, even if you only invest like four into it. But yeah, before I get into the video, if you guys enjoy the standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. That's for my comic question of the day. What dragon type restricted do you think is the best in the format right now? My money might be on Palkia, but I could see Eternatus kind of cropping up here and there uh, as we develop the metagame. Because this is going to be one of the longest metagames we have, and I'm down for it. Uh, there's a lot of experimentation to be done with dual restricted. So yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, link to the Patreon down below if you want to support. I have to plug it a lot because I really am trying to move out of my parents' house this summer. Uh, but yeah, something to note is I have laddered up to 1319 on the showdown ladder, which it's actually fairly high for VGC 2022 because it just came out. Um, I think I'm like 300-ish. Let me see. 1319, uh, yeah, I'm 310 on the ladder. If you actually break 1400, I believe you're top 100, so let's try to make that our, like, soft goal for the video. I already know that this team is good, which is why I'm on my main account, which is very rare. You guys almost never see me play my main account, because I just don't trust myself, uh, to <laughs> not lose every game. But yeah, uh, so far this team's been putting in the work, uh, in showdown tournaments and in just the ladder when I've been playing casually. Uh, it looks like we have... Yo, GLHF, YouTube Moxie. Thank you, Conkle Dunk. <laughs> Thank you, Conkle Dunk. Okay, so... Looks like we're seeing dual weather. Uh, they, you know, they might have watched my video. Just kidding, I didn't invent dual weather, I just used it. Um, but I can just shut that down. Oh my god, they're gonna hate, th they're gonna hate this. I'm gonna go Zashi and Rayquaza. Uh, it, what's interesting is they don't have any weather abusers. They really don't. Uh, I definitely want Rillaboom in this matchup because it can Grassy Glide their two Restricteds. And as for my last Pokemon, I kind of want to go Incineroar for the Fake Out Pressure versus quite a few things. But I might actually benefit a lot more from Finny because of the physical defensive set I'm running. I can Calm Mind up on them and probably, you know, mess up their game plan quite a bit. So I'm going to go with that. As they go with the Porygon 2 plus Incineroar lead, uh, obviously this isn't the best because they can just fake out my Zacian, uh, prevent me from dealing a lot of damage. Uh, but what I could do here is actually go into my Rillaboom and Swords Dance here. Because I am Focus Sash, I expect them to fake out the Zacian here. It wouldn't make sense to fake out the Rayquaza. Uh, as they don't do either of those things, they actually Parting Shot me, so I go down to neutral, which is fine, because I was kind of expecting to get Parting Shot in the next turn anyways. Um, but I do manage to keep my Rayquaza at neutral, and it's likely they're just going to Trick Room here. And with this Fake Out Pressure, I'm actually kind of comfortable with the positioning I'm in. Who are you going into, bud? Who are you going into? Don't let it be Metagross. That'd be actually not very poggers for me. Because um, I don't have a lot for him. All right, there's the Ogre. Uh, obviously, Ogre is kind of annoying. I don't think they're going to stay in here. I, I truly don't. It doesn't make any sense. They should go hard into the Incineroar. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to U-turn on the... I can U-turn on the Ogre here. And I'm going to go hard into my Finny, and I'm going to try to set up some Calm Minds. Because they, they should be... Actually, it's probably safer just to U-turn on the Porygon, too, because it's probably not going to protect. Uh, and I'm going to go in my Finny. They might they might Ice Beam here. I don't expect them to Water Spout or anything. And I'm going to get my... Um, I'm going to get my Rayquaza right back in here, I think. Just to turn off that weather in case they did Water Spout. 
as they calm mind up. Okay, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down a little bit. It does scare me, though. I do have to admit, it does scare me. Um, this thing wouldn't like a max air stream, but I don't know if I want to go for that right now. There are a couple of turns of Trick Room. I can try to stall out. Um, but let me think. I mean, I should be able to calm mind up here. I guess I'll go right into my Rillaboom. I don't think they're going to Flare Blitz or anything here. They should be faking out Rayquaza, if anything. Uh, maybe Ice Beaming it. And yeah, maybe it's just safer to protect then. It's the parting shot. This combine should go first. I'm getting a, my girlfriend's calling me while I record this, which isn't great. Because <laughs> I don't want her to be like, why aren't you picking up? I'm not picking up because I'm recording. <laughs> uh, I should respond in a second here as soon as I figure out my positioning. Probably going to parting shot my Finny at this point. There's only a couple of turns left at Trick Room. Alright, this is risky, but I'm going to Swords Dance. No, that's not worth it, like, ever. I'm just going to the Dragon to send damage off on the Kyogre. I don't really lose anything from doing that. Yeah, because they're probably just going to Calm Mind again. And this damage is going to be really nice. As they trace the airlock. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Now I don't have to worry about keeping this ogre on the field. Or this keeping this Rayquaza on the field. Alright, that's good damage. That's good damage. As um should be ending in a second here. I can moonblast this Kyogre pretty safely, I think. And the reason I'm gonna moonblast is because that uh, special attack trap might come in clutch. So the area impulse me, that's fine. I'm mostly just fishing for special attack drops. As I don't quite get it, I am Focus Ash though, and that might be within range of extreme speed if I get, if I can set it up. Um, I mean, I don't really have to worry about this thing. I'm going to Protect here, and I'm going to Moonblast once more, because it is Leftovers. Um, I can probably, yeah, I was going to say, I can probably assume he's going to do that. And Airlock is up, so... <laughs> I can probably just do this. Actually, I'm not really concerned about this ogre too much now that I'm really thinking about it. I guess I really don't want to get thundered, but it's more likely they're just carrying Ice Beam. I guess they could have thunder on this thing, which would be really bad for my Finny, but let's just Moonblast again. There's the Impulse. Uh, they're going to be within Glide range. They're trying really hard not to Dynamax this thing. As they do Ice Beam me and I do tank it because of the Assault Vest. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to U-turn here on the P2. And I'm going to Calm Mind again. That's what I figured. Because they should be going for a Protect and the next turn they'll be Faking Out. Faking Out, that feels weird to say. They'll be Faking Out. Um, what's interesting is the Airlock... <laughs> I, I, wait, did the rain go away? I guess I just didn't notice the rain going away. I was going to be like, I think the airlock just made the rain, like, non-existent. Um, I should be able to go into Ray here. If I protect here, I can, oh, that's not what I meant to do. That could have been really bad. Um, if I protect here and I calm mind here, this is such an awkward first game. It's so slow. All right, luckily they haven't Dynamaxed yet. Alright, they should be pretty afraid of this now. Um, I could extreme speed and just go for the Moonblast. But I think I'm better off... I think I should extreme speed here, and then I can win with, like, Rillaboom Finny. I'm gonna Calm Mind once more. Just, just a little bit of damage. I'm like, I'm just, like, giving up my Rayquaza here. They trace the airlock once more. They do origin pulse, that's fine. Um, now I'm in the position I want to be in. Yeah. So what I can do here is... Okay. I'm going to sub up here, because they should never let me just get that ogre. I'm going to sub up, and I am going to... Yeah. They shouldn't be able to break my, my substitute, since I'm so especially defensive. I'm going to Calm Mind again. Did they actually just go for it? 
That is surprising. I really thought they wouldn't let me take that. Okay, this isn't great. This isn't this isn't great. <laughs> I think I lose. Yikes. Okay. Uh I just kind of have to bank on them missing now. All right, please miss. All right, no. All right, GG. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, I really thought they wouldn't let me play rough there. I thought that was going to be really free. <laughs> okay. I actually faced this guy earlier today, I think. Uh, oh, this is... No, I haven't faced this guy. This is Andrew Nowak. All right. Uh, let me see. So, Andrew is a goaded player, obviously. I have to keep that in mind while I play this. Uh, do, do, do. He might just go Cali plus redirection. And I can sort of play to his expectations because of that. Um, I'll lead off Zacian and Rayquaza with Incineroar in the back. And I can bring the Tapu Fini again. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's pretty obvious that he's going to want to go for a Trick Room here. So I will be subbing up and I'll be getting in my Incineroar. And the reason I actually let off with... Um, the reason I let off with the Rayquaza instead of the uh, Incineroar, even though I knew Calyrex was coming out, is just because I wanted to be safe in case there was a Kyogre lead, that would have been really bad if I let off Incineroar. Um, so yeah, obviously we're in a pretty decent position here. I should be able to just go for a... I mean, they're just going to Dynamax, I assume. So I'm going to Behemoth Blade here. And... Suppose I'll just parting shot the Calyrex. It's likely they're just going to go ahead and um, helping hand or follow me, either one really. Uh, and this will allow me to cycle in another Intimidate and get in my Finny. And soon he's not going to be having a great time versus this uh, <laughs> versus this team. Uh, matter of fact, actually, I may go hard into Incineroar here and set up my first Calm Mind. That actually won't be terrible for me. Yeah. Now I get more parting shot. So they actually have Shadow Ball, which is kind of cool. Uh, obviously, that's for Calyrex. Calyrex Shadow, I mean. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll go for the parting shot on the Kyogre as well as a Muddy Water. That should KO the Ndidi uh, and let me get my Rayquaza in. Yeah. And they're probably just going to Thunder, so I can just negate that. Make it so it's harder to land. So they go for the Orange Impulse. Does pretty much nothing to both of these guys. Uh, let me see if I can get an Accuracy Drop. That'd be amazing. I do get the Accuracy Drop, which is great. There's the Cali Ice, obviously. Um, not the best thing in the world. I obviously don't want to deal with that right now. Uh, but I think what I'll do here is... I want to keep my Incineroar in the back for faking this thing out once the Trick Room's gone. And I may actually just Dynamax here. I may Dynamax here and KO the Kyogre because really Calyrex is a non-issue as soon as uh, everything around it's gone. I can one-shot it with a Zacian. Granted, they're not running the... Um, what's it called? What's that berry that reduces steel type? Babiri. As long as they're not running Babiri, I'll be fine. So yeah, I'm going to try to KO this Ogre. Actually, maybe I don't do that. Maybe I just protect here. Uh, it's kind of iffy. It's kind of iffy. I don't know if I want to give up Incineroar yet. I'm going to give up Incineroar. Yeah. No. Nah. That, that's the right play. Um, And obviously, Max Geyser is going to be doing quite a bit to Calyrex if I attack it. But I'm going to leave it alone for now. And I'm going to Max Starfall this thing. Because it should catch most things. Let's see if they Dynamax. If they don't Dynamax. That's fine. Um, I'm going to lose my Incin, but it's perfectly, perfectly fine. There it is. Nice. Here, I should be able to get in my Zacian. And I may double this Ogre. Actually, do we know if it's Scarf? Let me see. Did we see anything that might suggest it's Scarf? Origin Pulse went before Muddy Water. So, no, it's very much just Trick Room. Uh, do 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 do. I'm gonna go Zacian here. Zacian should be fine, and I'm actually just gonna double this ogre. I don't think Calyrex stays in. 
And I can geyser just in case. Okay, yeah. Good call, Marcos. Good call. Pat yourself on the back here. Nice. Yeah, I think I win this game now. Uh, he doesn't really have much counterplay for this. I guess if an Araquanude is in the back, that'd be a little bit annoying. Nah, all right, he forfeits there. GG, uh, let's see. Yeah, that first. I apologize for how slow that first game was, but <laughs> that's just how it is sometimes when you're using this thing. Okay, versus Internet Cafe, and he's got that elite ELO right there, 1337. Uh, I think that my best friend in this match is actually gonna be Tapu Finney once again. Like, if he doesn't bring this um, Ferrothorn, he's gonna have a rough time versus Combined. I can also um, intimidate spam quite a bit. So what I think I'll do here is, hmm, I'll lead off Finny, and I definitely want the Incinerator. I kind of need the Incinerator to be honest, as well as Ashian. Uh, I'll go Finny Zashian. We'll bring the Incinerator in the back. And my last mod's where I'm kind of iffy here. Like Rayquaza could be good. Real Boom could be good, and Reggie Lucky's kind of eh. I'll go Rayquaza. That Sash is kind of hard to pass up. It, the Sash makes Rayquaza so much more usable. Like, honestly, it's so good. Uh, obviously, I should just be able to Calm Mind up here and go for this Behemoth Blade and the Grim Snarl. Um, yeah, they're going to get screens up. Yeah, it's going to be annoying, but if I can get off enough Calm Minds and Intimidate Cycle versus that Necrozma, like, I'll be fine. And likely they're just like self shadow sneak uh but i am super super physically defensive on my finny if you haven't seen the spread let me just show you that real quick let me just show that off if i don't get crit they're gonna have a rough time in this match um yeah 164 bold i feel pretty good about this let me go ahead and dynamax up to make sure they don't really get the opportunity to one shot me <laughs> uh and yeah there's gonna self shadow sneak here if they don't max quake my incineroar um, I'll just be able to parting shot on them pretty much for free. They max steel spike. They were going for it. I now get to get that decent, decent damage. I'm going to go for another max geyser. Uh, and I will be parting shotting this Necrozma right now to lower that damage output to base. And I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I definitely want to keep my Incineroar healthy for that Ferrothorn now that I see it. Uh, and they should be max quaking into the Incineroar probably. I'll get in my Rayquaza. Unless they're really, really concerned with the Finny. Yeah, no, I managed to block that as well. Incredible. Incredible, Marcos. You're doing phenomenal. Uh, obviously, I did turn off my... <laughs> I did turn off my weather. Uh, but I'll just max Geyser here and get that Incinerate right back in. And he shouldn't be able to one-shot this Incin. Necrozma, Necrozma has, like, a really high attack stat. But the Intimidate spam really, really screws it over in a lot of matchups. Especially this one. As they go for an Iron Defense. Um, I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Because I am Swords Dance on my Ray. And I obviously do have <laughs> Incinera here. Um, I should be able to Muddy Water pretty much for free. And these things don't typically run Protect. Uh, I guess I'll fake out just to make sure I don't get like a straight crit. Uh, do I do this? Maybe I just go... <sighs> this is kind of rough. I, I truly do not need Zashin to win this match. Which sounds weird to say. I'm going to go into that just in case he body presses my Incin. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, and now I can KO the Mimikyu before I can set up another Trick Room. Which is going to be really good. And then Ferrothorn has a really rough time. So I'll Muddy Water again. Uh, hopefully lowering the accuracy of that Ferrothorn. And I'll Behemoth Blade this Mimikyu. Shadow Sneak shouldn't KO me from this range because of how bulky I am. What's Sashian's base defense stat? I, I, that's like one of the few stats on him I don't know. 115, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, Mimikyu's gone. His screens are gone. His hair, whack. His shoes, whack. The way he doesn't like to smile, whack. Um, yeah, and both of these guys are gonna hate what's about to happen. We saw that this thing is slower than me under Trick Room, obviously, or faster than me under Trick Room, so I should be able to Muddy Water here for free and just go for this Flare Blitz and we'll be fine. I get the KO on the Krozma, which is really all I needed there. This thing will live this thing, but... <laughs> This thing will live this thing. This thing will live this attack, but just barely. Uh, and now I can just click my Moonblast into Dragon Ascent, and that's going to be game. GG. Well played. Nice. 
that's always good. When you get like these clean matches, that's that's when you feel good about this team. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess you are leftovers, but that that won't save you from plus one moon blast plus dragon ascent. This is a dragon ascent, bro. <laughs> this is a dragon ascent. I am literally ascending. Right there, nice. Thirteen forty-seven. All right, we might be able to. We might. We might be able to get close to top one hundred by the end of this video. I mean, we got like time for one to two more games, depending on the ratings of our opponents. And if we don't drop any more games, that'd be. <laughs> that's kind of the deciding factor here. What is my current rating on the ladder, though? Um, let me see. Oh, too late. <laughs> Alright, this is what I like. Um, so it's dual weather, but I turn off all of them. <laughs> I turn off all of them. Uh, let me go ahead and lead off with... I could lead off like Ray in Sin, and it would be pretty good in this matchup. Because it covers so many things. Oh yeah, I could like Swords Dance for free if they end up leading off with like Venusaur plus uh, P2. Or something like that, you know. Uh, I'm going to do that. Obviously, I want Zacian in this matchup. And I think my last Mon is going to be the real question mark uh maybe regilecki actually finney could be decent as well finney's been carrying the showdown live i'm thinking i'm thinking i get a lot of value out of finney to be honest especially if they don't bring sun which is what they're probably going to avoid bringing i'm gonna go finney yeah there it is that's pretty much exactly what i was hoping for uh, I am Focus Sash, so if they do Ice Beam me, as long as I don't get frozen, this is kind of all I need. I mean, I can E-Speed him and just make sure he never gets that Tailwind off, which would be amazing for me. Do I... Do I not... Alright, this is kind of... This, this, this is getting a little... This is getting a little crazy. Um, I can fake out the Tornadus. Obviously, I'm going to want to do that. And I'm going to try to airstream into him. And if they protect, it's fine, I think. Okay. Like I said, that's fine. That's fine. I lied. That's awful. Um, airstream you. I'm going to parting shot the ogre. Actually, maybe I just max guard and parting shot the ogre and get in my Zacian so it's hard for them to ignore it. Oh, he just decided he didn't care. Uh, that's concerning. I can calm mind up here. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, yikes. Okay. So what are what are the odds here? What are the odds that I just lost this immediately? I think it's still kind of winnable if I can. I I need that e speed. I definitely do. I'm gonna calm mind here. He's probably just gonna like ice beam my Zacian if anything. Max Geyser, that's fine. Uh, I'm wiki, so I can tank one more. Okay. So now my play here is going to be Protect, and I need to Moonblast that Ogre to make sure I take this Water Spout. Hurricane, Wiki Berry, save me. Thank you. Water Spout, save me. Live it. Special Attack Drop. Alright, not quite, but that should be all I need. Uh, let me go ahead and go for the Muddy Water here on the Tornadus, as well as um, Play Rough does more to Ogre at this range. How much did that Hurricane do? I lost 28%. That's fine. I'm just going to Water Spout here. And I live, which is incredible. Okay. There's their Zacian, which means I lose. Obviously. Obviously, I lose to their Zacian. I have to double into it. Uh, they could obviously just Protect in Tailwind, but... They do not. If I can get a... Can I get an accuracy drop or maybe just get it with an E-Speed range or something? You know, something, something cool like that. Something, something awesome. Uh, <laughs> I lost this. <laughs> Man, uh, let me think. Yeah, no, I, I don't win this. Not unless I, like, massively crit an E-Speed. I guess I can just double protect here. There's no reason not to. Maybe I can, you know, I can, I can suss out what they're trying to do. Uh, Behemoth Blade into Rayquaza, Sludge Bomb into Finny. So obviously Sludge Bomb can't miss Finny. Obviously. 
obviously check this out i just crit that and then i just got the double muddy water crit trust me that that wasn't in my head that definitely just happened all right let's go one more let's let's go for one more let's let's try to end this video positive because right now i'm two and two i'm two and two and i'm only five points higher than i was at the beginning of the video 1424 listen this is the one this is the one obviously there's a pikachu and that's terrifying and it's max d's and Mac, Max D's, I, I don't think I've ever beaten this guy. Pikachu enthusiast here, he's crazy. Um, <laughs> guys, I'm scared. I think once more I'm going to go Ray and Sin. That should be fine, just because of the fake out pressure and the fact I get a, a plus one pretty much for free. I'm going to bring my Zacian in the back, and I think I actually get so much value out of Rillaboom here. Yeah, okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. Marcos, are you not about to get paralyzed? And the answer to that is, of, of course I am. Of course I am. Who, who, who do you think I am not to get paralyzed? Um, <laughs> God, this is going to be such an annoying Pikachu. Max, please. Like, I know you're good at this game. And I know you like Pikachu a lot. And I know you've beat me with Pikachu in the, before. But not, not at the end of my own video, man. Uh, I am Sash, so I can take one of these. I can try to I, maybe i just max rillaboom this game that might be my play because it walls pikachu let me let me go hard rillaboom and i'm gonna just flare blitz the pikachu he's gonna dynamax it he maxed the tokus that's not great okay that's fine at least he can't nay nay on me with that thing i'm gonna flare blitz it and fake out <laughs> obviously fake out's not great um yeah i'm just gonna flare blitz the pikachu it's probably crit kiss so i don't get much out of not doing that uh actually no i'm gonna go zation here because he should be air streaming and i'm gonna snarl because he's yeah he's gonna go into kyogre that's what i figured there's the airstream doesn't look like he's crit because he hasn't crit in two turns which obviously that's a great way of tank telling actually did he crit the first turn yeah he did crap he's crit he is indeed crit kiss um okay i can take both of these hits if i go into my ray right here and just behemoth blade is that my play though is that truly my play i think he i don't think he's gonna protect here I think he's just going to attack because he probably thinks he KOs me. Yeah, there it is. All right, don't be Max Flare. Okay, that's good. That's good. We got rid of the Togekiss. And now, in comes our... Um, not Rillaboom because we're going to get faked out. Uh, <laughs> crap. Okay, I give him the Incineroar, obviously. And I protect here. And I can attempt to parting shot the ogre. Because I need to get in my, my Rillaboom next turn. Or maybe I just snarl. Yeah, I protect here. And I parting shot the the Pikachu. Right? I just parting shot the ogre. Yeah. It, it's light ball Pikachu, it's not Sash. Okay. And I lose that, which is good. Believe it or not, that was good. Uh, Behemoth Blade should one-shot you. Grassy Glide should one-shot you. And I haven't Dynamaxed yet, which feels wrong. Because just that lead was really messing me up. Alright. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Don't be Sash. Okay. <laughs> I was going to lose my mind if that was Sash. I was like, no. No, not like this. <laughs> not like this. No. Okay. Um, I... I I guess my play is to protect here as he tries to KO my Zacian and G-Max Drum Solo. Because I know I'm slower. Hopefully he doesn't notice that I'm definitely slower. Okay, I think I win. I think I win now because he has to target one of these. And, ah, oh, crap, that didn't do enough. It didn't do enough. No. Actually, no, I can win. I can win. I can win. Because the next G-Max Drum Solo, I G-Max I G -Max Drum Solo one more time and Behemoth Blade.
and then he should be in range of grassy glide i hope oh god no he's, he's not gonna be i don't even have protect what am i saying i don't even have protect i i, I don't even i don't even all right gg gg I, I don't even have protect dang he got me i forgot i couldn't even max guard there all right guys we may have started lower than we began but guess what we're still 1310 so so i i guess that's cool <laughs> Oh, uh, I hate you, Max. I'm kidding. No, you're fine. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the team obviously works. You guys have seen it work. And I managed, to, I pretty much climbed from like zero or 1000 to the point that I'm at right now. So I know the team is fine. So if you guys want to use it, leave a like in the video, check out my discord. Now I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. I can't believe I just lost a Pikachu on camera. Every day I live my life waiting to face off against G Max Pikachu and hope that they don't actually use it. Um, and, and hope that I don't like record while I lose to it, but that's just, that's just how it is. <laughs> Have a nice night guys. Bye.